Oh, right. Uh, this is L. Jermaine Russell. It's uh, May 27, 2020. Um, the stock market closed. It, you know, it's after hours right now. I actually was during the stock market time. I was trying to get this book list nice and ready for you so I can be able to share what I can. Um, like I said, this book list has helped me in uh, many a ways. Now, if I have read some books, I have finished some books, I have started but did not complete some books. I have some on uh, hardback, I have some in, uh, you know, PDF. So, you know, there's a, there's so many ways that you can be able to get these type of books, right? Um, but what's so important about these, um, this knowledge is that it gives you insight on ways to strategize, ways to... Um, manage your behavior and then also even manage your time right so no matter what you no matter how you read these books they're all ways of um oh they're all there they're valuable ways to make you better as an individual probably not just in the trading world but in your own personal life so here goes my guide to profitability book list um, hopefully that whatever book that I share with you that has been given to me from profitable traders actually help you. All right. So you know, we'll start with uh, one of my favorite um, philanthropists during the American Industrial Revolution was Andrew Carnegie or Andrew Carnegie. Um, he's one of my favorites. Like I said, he came from nothing and in Philadelphia or in Pennsylvania, it was like a little bit more west in Pennsylvania. Uh, I want to say Allegheny, Pennsylvania, but I'm not 100% sure. But essentially, he, um, you know, he grew up poor and he grew up with brothers and sisters and didn't have much. And, I, and as he grew uh, older, he started to, um, you know, find his way to become a breadwinner for his family. Um, and by making those connections, he found that there is wealth um, amongst men, especially if you are all a part of the same um, mastermind group, right? And mastermind group is actually in, in a book called Think or Grow Rich um, that that um, Andrew Carnegie was actually interviewed for uh, during the uh, early 1900s. Um, but the biggest thing about Andrew Carnegie is that not only was he a, a strong person who allowed America to grow, like not only did he have Carnegie Steel, which became U.S. Steel later, you know, he used that that steel to bridge east to west, uh, bring, even putting a bridge over uh, the Mississippi River. So, you know, he has been an instrumental part in America uh, revolution, right? And the biggest thing that he said one of the biggest things other than you know he even had a, a libraries he even donated money for libraries so it's like you know for him the laws of accumulation will be left free the laws of distribution free individualism will continue but the millionaire will be but a trustee for the poor entrusted for a season with a great part of the increased wealth of the community but administering it for the community far better than it could or would have done for itself so Andrew Carnegie is always, um, always in like the front of my mind when I come to philanthropists. You know, he has been the very first one that really encouraged me to be that giver for society. So, um, you know, I'm still in my early stages, and I feel like that I will get there. And you know, and it's time, right? And it takes time. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight, but. You know, acquiring the knowledge as he did and provided libraries, you know, will give opportunities for us all to be able to acquire wealth. And then Robert F. Smith, Robert Smith, um, billionaire himself, um, during the commencement speech in 2019 at um, Morehouse College, he donated a whole lot of money to all the graduating uh, seniors um, and he said you know you will no longer have your own student student loan debt right which is amazing you know um, 
uh, you know, also him too was, you know, poor and then he became um, uh, an equity investor and really helped out a lot of people during his time. He even went to Columbia and all that stuff. So he he's a very knowledgeable person. And he said that intelligence can create profits, but in fact, you can actually make more money being smart than you can being strong and fast. And he's right. When you are, um, and I know it cut off money over there, but um, but when you are, um, when you work out your body, right? You do push-ups, you do squats, you do crunches, you know, you work your back, you work your own biceps, you know, you work out all the things. Um, you are a spiritual person. You, you pray, you meditate, whatever it is. But if you're not working out that mind, and you know using that mental muscle to acquire knowledge so you can make it applicable to your own life then things will become tragically worse right you need to increase your intelligence to be better not just for yourself but for others around you and that's your net worth right because your network uh makes up your net worth so with that being said, let's uh, go on to some of these books. And uh, these books that I have listed is on this app called Scribd. It's $8.99 a month. Uh, if you have a Netflix subscription, but you can't get books for $8.99, I'm talking about this is a plethora of books. Like you're not, you're not just getting one style of books. You can get anything that you want out of this uh, this site. If you want to get, you know, audio books. If you want to get um, documents that people might have uploaded onto the website if you want to just get regular books and if you are one of those people that like to make an excuse to say oh but I need a, a book that I, I can hold I want to flip the pages great print it out whatever print it out and then now you have a book that you can flip pages I hate it when you hear people it's like I you know I don't like using digital because you like you're still getting the knowledge like you like just remember the the physical book still has the knowledge inside of it. The digital book still has the knowledge inside of it. Don't cheat yourself because it's digital. All right. So other than that, let's uh, let's get into it. And like I'm going to make this rather simple, rather quick. I don't want to go too too much in detail like I typically do with my um, with the technical charts, right? But Master the Game um, by Tony Robbins. We know. I think. Most of us probably know Tony Robbins, probably seen YouTube um, videos of him giving advice and, and really amplifying people's lives through his words, the power of his words. Um, he does the same thing with his book and there's also an app for it. So, you know, this is something that I have. I use the app. I come back to it from time to time. And the book is very, very tremendous. It's very, um, it's very useful. So, you know, definitely try to use that. Brett Steenbarger for Trading Psychology 2.0. You know, he is a behavioral psychologist who has helped not only physicians, but traders alike. Um, and because he has done this, he is um, one of those guys that, you know, when it comes to behavioral investing or when it becomes to, you know, anything behavioral on the stock market, knowing what it, what your triggers are. Are, are very important and he highlights that through all of his books and there's a couple other um there's one other person who that i feel is just on his level too but we'll get to her later on but brett, brett steenbarger definitely read his book find his youtube videos um and he probably even have a a, a spotify podcast um the 85 investing lessons you know just gives you pinpoint lessons on you know investing and how it can work for you um markets mob and mayhem actually this book i got last year um and i particularly wanted this book because i knew that the market was going to crash sometime somehow i just didn't know how it went um once it finally did you know i was prepared i read i read this and i knew how the markets actually moved um, I had an idea how the markets move because people move them. People are afraid and they're closing positions and they're allowing the market to drop. So because of all that hysteria, you know, you get mayhem. So this is definitely a good book. and even goes back into history where it talks about tulips and how tulips actually made the same type of um, made the same type of uh, effect on the market. Uh, the richest man in Babylon. I have not seen. I have not read this book. I 
I, I know it's not that long, um, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. There's so many things that I'm trying to read. This is one of them. This is um, definitely on the top of my um, top of my list of books that, that I need to start reading. Uh, the Little Book of Common Sense Investing. You know, Common Sense Investing. This little gems like Warren Buffett just throwing it at you. Uh, seven Chart Patterns. Now, these chart patterns is very important when you're like reading the market, when you're reading the... Um, when you're reading the chart platform, you're charting, you're trying to find out like places where you can enter, places that you can exit, all these things, right? And um, I don't know, like it's just, it, I think it's just very important. There's two parts to, to trading. There's a financial part, which is called the fundamentals, and then there's the charting part, which is called the technicals. And mirroring, and bringing those two together will help you become a very stable investor and knowing the chart patterns is even better um the little book of behavioral investing kind of like another uh, warren buffett here goes some gems this is what you need to do looking long term not short term uh creating wealth uh another one if you're trying to retire you know 10 years using seven principles um you can get there now, and this is by far like one of the i know it's a it's been a bestseller uh for some time uh kate and or kim and curtain kim and curtain um another behavioral psychologist just like uh brett steenbarger he she is definitely great you should like look her up fellow virgo love my virgos i'll always support him um yes that's just me uh, so she is another behavioral psychologist like i said that is always helping traders to transform their behavior with their movements in the market so this is something that you should also look at or you know find her on linkedin find her on youtube find her with steady trade podcast that's another um another way that you can get access to her because phenomenal phenomenal woman technical analysis technical analysis technical analysis i cannot stress that far more enough how technical analysis is definitely important um People only look at the, the the fundamental side, like oh, they they have money or they don't have money. But you know, when you look at the technicals, sometimes the technicals tell you a little bit more than just what the financials are saying, and vice versa. Sometimes the financials tell you a little bit more than what the technicals are saying. So it's always important if you're trying to look for financial information on a company, you can always go to Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance breaks down the balance sheet income statement. Uh, let you know what their profitability has been via whether it's a quarter or for the year, right? So, you know, marrying those two together is definitely important. Uh, the banker's secret to creating wealth, you know, you always want to know what the banks are thinking, right? So if you have an opportunity to get some type of information from the banks, definitely do so. Bank note secrets, it goes another one where you can try to grab some notes uh, based on what the banks are thinking. Uh, you want to get better at trading, why you suck at investing, and how you can easily and dramatically beat the odds. So now, with this one, you know, not all, I can't say that all like books for dummies are always great, but if you can grab out some gems from here, just as important. Uh, the Wealth Choice, Success Secrets of Black Millionaires. Yes, it says black millionaires, because how many black millionaires do you know off the top of your hand other than from entertainment? Right. So, you know, me even mentioning Robert F. Smith, probably people are not going to know who he is because they never even seen like, oh, I can't believe there's a black billionaire. But, you know, here we go. Success of black millionaires. I'm not um, I'm not one to like, you know, hey, blacks are better than every other other race. I don't that's not my my mentality. But my mentality is that there's a lot of uh, um, um, melanated people, black people uh, to be specific, that do not have this type of information, don't have this type of knowledge, and are probably thirsty for this and would need it, right? So if I can do my part by passing on some information that might be helpful to the black community, I definitely will. And I have no shame in that. Um, the four laws of financial prosperity. And these four laws, you know, is just like uh, the, the, four, the four laws of love language or the four love languages, right? So it's kind of similar to that. Um, so you get an idea of how you can exponentially grow your your financial situation. 
F you money by Dan Locke. I like him a lot because he is just one of those guys that will tell it like it is from his standpoint. And um, he's a successful entrepreneur. You know, I know some people don't like him just because of how brash he is and stuff like that. It's kind of like uh, Dan Pina. Like some people don't like him because he's real brash. But at the end of the day, it, all it is is about getting the job done. Don't don't be a snowflake, right? <laughs> so not being a snowflake, getting the job done and really executing. So that's 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 important. Candlestick patterns, important. <laughs> I, I can't stress that enough. How important that is. Um, how to day trade stocks for profit. You know, these are books that you can. I haven't read this one, but these are books that you can definitely look towards, right? Um, trading beyond the matrix um, this is the next book that I want to read uh, other than uh, the richest man in Babylon this is right there next to it so you know those two books I should have done before um, uh, before the beginning of August uh, can you be a stock market genius everyone can so this is another book for dummies uh, kind of just helping you but Joe Greenblatt he's he's written a couple of books so you know, really try to uncover what it is that's inside of you that will help you see what the market is and be profitable like the rest of us. Uh, random walk down Wall Street. You know, this is a way to really understand whatever strategy that you have come up with and kind of test them against what Wall Street does. The Intelligent Investor, kind of like gems from Charlie Munger and uh, Warren Buffett. So this is something that you would. And this is, a, I believe, a shorter version of it because um, it's an audio book. Uh, but I know that the original book is a little bit longer. And stocks, the beginner's guide to safe stock market trading. You know, another book that, and I'll say, this is all on this app, right? If you, and it, it's boggling, mind boggling to me how people are, they can search everything else. But when it comes to something of finances or anything that dealing with money, it's like, it's like kryptonite like you don't want to know right and i'm pretty sure we all have something that prevents us from really taking it to the next level but at the same time you have an opportunity why not grab it so this is um this app is really really great does this make my assets look fat uh, i was reading this when i was first starting off and i was trying to understand terms and terminology uh, and the terminologies how to apply them and in this book uh you know she describes a lot of the assets and liabilities in comparison to food. So if you really like food, this is definitely the book for you. Uh, the winning methods of market wizards. So the market wizards uh, definitely have been around for a while. And if you are debating on which book to start with, maybe you can start with this one because market wizards really, really, really are on top of their game. And you know, even coming back to it and reading it again and seeing what I was missing from before, I, you know, it's it's only it's only going to help you. Investor behavior towards stock market and fundamentals. So if you haven't noticed, there's a couple of themes that I've been going with: technical analysis and behavioral uh, psychology. Right? Um, those are very very important. Once you know yourself, then you can know your trade. The student loan swindle. Um, I put that in there. Um, really, it's not like an investing one, but it's really like if you're a student and you've traded, uh, if you're a student and you, um, you know, you've acquired some debt, so you can be able to figure out how to get out of that debt um, by reading this book, right? And it doesn't hurt. So here it is, The Intelligent Investor. Um, the revised edition is a little bit longer, 800 and some pages, but, you know, you have all the information there. Jim Cramer, a lot of people don't like Jim Cramer. I absolutely love Jim Cramer. He's entertaining. Um, I can't say that I always agree with the with the thoughts of his uh, stocks, but I'll tell you what the one, and this is a prime example of why you know you can always listen to people that you don't always have to agree with. If it wasn't for Jim Cramer, I would not have known about Moderna. He did an interview with Moderna. I think it was like mid January, maybe late December. I want to say it was early January, and Moderna. Uh, a company that focuses on RNA viruses and is trying to find um, some type of cure for these, especially the rare viruses, end up working on this coronavirus, which happens to be an RNA virus. I'm not saying there's a coincidence. I'm just saying that you know, when it comes to 
when it comes to um, bringing companies to the surface, oftentimes Jim Cramer is really, really good at that, and he has a long track record, so why not? Um, the elements of investing, right? Do we know all the elements, the building blocks that allow you to become a profitable trader or a profitable investor? Um, the Motley Fool, uh, if you've seen any of their you know, advertisements, either on TV or on websites, you know, they're definitely a good uh, group of people to learn from. So definitely you know, take what they have, gain that information, and then use it for your own, for your own growth. The young investor, you know, we're, as we're younger, you know, there's, there's a whole generation, you know, I wish I knew about investing 10 years ago. I'm 38 now. If I knew about, you know, 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago, I would probably be only trading on the stock market and not doing anything else. Well, I'm going to say doing anything else. I would more likely be traveling and working out and doing all the yoga and stuff like that because I love those things. But, you know, um, this book for especially for young people would definitely love it. Um, chat with traders. Brian Shannon. Very, very good. Science and technical analysis. See the theme here? Uh, day trading. Uh, how to day trade for a living and become an expert day trader. So now I haven't read this one. Um, but now that I look at it, it was in my saved book. So this is one of those saved books that I should probably read. So more than likely, I will be reading it uh, probably this week, actually. Uh, Wall Street Research. Past, present, and future. If you... <laughs> Research is important. So if you're not looking in the past, it's hard for you to really see what the present is so you can be able to navigate the future. Um, so this this gives some insight on how to do some research and and, and to move forward. Uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. You know, so I haven't read this one, but it was another book that was um, suggested to me. So that's why it's here. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. $10 Profit Blueprints, another book suggested to me, offering it to you. I probably should read that because it's only 26 pages. Um, trading for a living, right? It was, we, did, we just had that, right? We had how to day, day trade, how to trade for a living. So there's, you know, if you're trying to learn how to trade for a living, this is probably a really good book for you. Um, you want to beat the market, you know, this is a summary, beat the market th uh, three months at a time. You know, and the three months at a time, that's where the whole quarter comes into play. Um, you know, because every quarter has three months in it. So, um, is that right? Yeah, every, every quarter has three months in it. So, like, you know, seeing how each quarter unveils itself, because each quarter acts differently. You know, each stock will move differently depending on the season. Like, right now, you know, after the, since it's, you know, typically, uh, you will have like, you know, your cruise ships and your airlines that are doing a lot of movement now because it's the summertime, right? Um, and people are going on vacation and stuff like that. Schools are about to be out. So, you know, this is different than it would have been during the wintertime. Not a lot of people are taking cruises during the wintertime. People are probably still flying, but, you know, it's, you know, it's slightly different. Um, this is a summary of the intelligent investor. So, like I'm saying, this app has everything. Um, there's a summary you can't go you can't go wrong with that uh, invested you know how Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger like you know you can't go wrong it's an audio book you know, like you can you can get information from you know you probably went to Barnes and Noble and paid like $30 for this so you, all you have to do is pay one subscription fee of you know, a month subscription fee of $8.99 you cannot beat this penny stocks under understanding investing and trading it says it is now the wealth of nations. Now, Adam Smith. This is the 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 hand. Now, he talks about the hand that moves the economy, and it's the invisible hand. Um, because that hand is invisible, we don't see it, but we know things move. It moves when you're asleep or when you're awake. Um, the wealth moves, you know. So you know, that is also a really really good book. I'm intimidated by the 1,300 pages, but. I know I've I've read some of it during my MBA um, program, um, but I didn't read it all the way through. So this is something that I should actually get back and try to read the whole thing again and really take out the gems from it. Beginner day trading 101. I read this one. I kind of liked it. It was very at the very beginning. Kind of makes some like 
you know, spelling errors, but it, it's fine. It's, it's still, you still get what you need to get out of it. Uh, market maker psychology. So the people that actually make the prices, right, the, the, that move the market, described in this, in this PDF. So at least you have an op opportunity um, to understand the market makers. You get a chance to understand the banks, you get the banks, you get a chance to understand the market makers. Um, and I'm pretty sure, you know, you get a chance to also see like algorithms and understand how algos and, 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 uh, you know, how it affects the market, right? Um, Think and Grow Rich, which is probably one of the very first books that I ever started with. And I read it a couple of times because the first time I read it, I didn't really get it. Um, but the second time I read it and stuff, and then realized that uh, Andrew um, Carnegie was in it, and he was the one, the, one of the main people that Napoleon Hill was uh, interviewing. And Napoleon Hill interviewed, I think it was like 26 millionaires during the time, um, and really just grabbed and soaked up all the information and put it in the book. And this has been like one of the best books ever, you know, Think and Grow Rich. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, there's a couple of other books that I didn't see on here and it's probably, and it's probably on there. I just didn't search hard enough, but I have the hard, I have the, the hard back book for it is, um, the automatic millionaire and, uh, start late, finish rich. And both of them are written by the same author, David Bach. Um, and he definitely gives you some strategies on how not only to save, but also to be prosperous, um, uh, uh with your money. And, and using it in the right ways. So there are a couple other books. I know I came down to the end here. But there's a couple other books that I have on my Amazon account that I pref that I would like to share with you. And I know I referenced Kate Ann Curtin before, but she also um, mentioned this book called The Hour Between Dog and the Wolf: How the Risk Taking uh, uh, Trans How Risk Taking Transform Us Body and Mind. And when it comes to books like that, where you are, this is definitely like another behavioral book that will help you because you have no idea if you're trying to learn how to trade the stocks and you don't have an idea with your behavior, you, you should probably get that. Um, and then I, I would two more books. Uh, this, the second to last is a technical analysis. And this is using multiple time frames. Now, I want to get this book. It's higher than I want it in price, but I want to get this book. This is another book that was actually suggested by um, Tim, Tim Bowen. Um, Tim Bowen, if you don't know, he is uh, the lead trader for um, lead trader and trainer. He trains people um, on stocks. No. On steady trade. Um, it's called Stocks to Trade. There we go, Stocks to Trade. And um, I don't use the platform, but I listen to him because um, I use my Thinkorswim platform. And I listen to him. Everything is integrated on that platform. It's a great platform, don't get me wrong. Uh, I just got so used to Thinkorswim. Um, but he, he brought this book up and it's been amazing. And then the last one, uh, Hustle, The Power to Charge Your Life with Money, Meaning, and Momentum. This book, very powerful. Another book that I started with, very one of the very first books that I started with as well, along with the um, books by David Bach, The Automatic Millionaire, and Start Late, Finish Rich. So that's it. That's my complete book list right now. Oh no, the complete penny stock course, of course. That's a that's another one. So if you're uh, if you're a fan of Tim Sykes, definitely get that book. So that's it. Hopefully that this has uh, been educational for you and I hope that you use these books to your advantage.